What is timeline therapy? Timeline therapy, which I'm a master of, is a very, very powerful way for us to be able to go over, almost in a linear way, and of course nothing is linear, but for the sake of the timeline therapy, we imagine our whole life on a line, okay? So there is zero when you're born, and to the end of our life. And it's this linear arrangement. It could be a squirrely line. It could be behind us, in front of us. Very interesting, actually. If your timeline is behind you, your past behind you and your front in front of you, and you'd simply know that by closing your eyes and picturing your timeline now. Very interesting thing. When you're in your timeline with the past behind you, focused on the future, those people tend to strive more towards the things they do want and not in fear running from the things they don't want. And that's because their past is literally behind them. I see clients all the time and they have their timeline, perhaps it's to the left or to the right, doesn't matter which, and then they've got their future here. What's happening there? is that you're seeing all of the events that ever happened to you in your life merging into your future because it's all right in front of you. And they're the people that find it really hard to let go of the traumas, which let's face it, we've all had our fair share of. So some very simple techniques on the timeline, like just switching it around and knowing how to do that, can really, really help people to actually just put the past behind them and focus on the future. But of course, it goes deeper than that. With the timeline sessions that we do, we look at about eight or nine different emotions. OK, you might have three, you might have four, you might have done a lot of the work. But let's say your average Joe has about five of these emotions. We would go back one by one, starting with fear. And we'd go back to the very first time that you felt that fear. We go back, we take the learning and we do it from a dissociated perspective. And I'm doing this because it's like we're looking down on that event. And from a dissociated perspective, it means you're not reliving the event again. You're not having that trauma again, but you're doing the work around the trauma. We go just before the event and we clear away that um, negative emotion, okay? But let's face it, our brain filters everything through all of our past values, beliefs and memories. So if you're filtering everything that happens today through all of your past values, beliefs, memories, you know, it's going to not be good if you've got bad unresolved trauma and bad memories in there and you've got these negative beliefs. And let's face it, a belief could just happen one day. You know, your parents might have said to you, you're not good enough. And that could get installed as an unconscious belief. And if that's happened, you're constantly, even in today's world, going to be feeling you're not good enough, you're not good enough. Well, actually, I'm here to show you that you are good enough. And that when we just do some of these simple exercises, 10 minutes per emotion, then we can literally clear away those uh, limiting beliefs and those blocking emotions. And then we can come to the values later.